Hello, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add subscriptions to Authorize.net for WordPress. From the dashboard in WordPress, you scroll down the menu navigation until you get to the Authorize.net menu. If it's not already expanded, just click on this little triangle over on the right to show the menus, and click on Subscriptions. Now for subscriptions, there are three main sections that we're going to pay attention to. The first is the subscription name, and this is where you get to decide what you're going to do with the other two sections. You can process a single payment, or a recurring payment, or a combination of both. And there are certain times when one makes more sense than the other. So my subscription, come up with some name for it. And let's say we wanted to process a single payment and a recurring payment. Well, if the one-time payment, let's say that's $1 free plus shipping. So you come up with some offer. Let's say you're going to charge one dollar for shipping and then you'll have a monthly continuity on the back end. Well what you do, you just type in one dollar here, type in some description, and then if your recurring amount was going to be nineteen dollars per month, you'd want it to be one here as the interval length, and the interval unit you'd want to be months. So you'll notice that you could set a number of days, so you could set it every fourteen days, you could set it, you know, every 12 months, which would be an annual subscription. You could also, if you wanted it to be an annual subscription, set it to 365 days. So you can do any combination of these that you'd like. For now, I'm going to do every one month. Now, the total occurrences means you only want them to be billed a certain number of times. If you want it to be ongoing, so once they start making the recurring payments, it just keeps going until they cancel. Well, then you'd put in 9999 here. Otherwise, if you wanted to, say, offer a six-month course, then what you'd do is you'd just put in six here. And that means after six recurring payments, then this series will come to an end automatically. Now, Conceal Trial at Checkout just changes the wording on the checkout page. Now, what is a trial? A trial amount, let's say you wanted this to be zero, and you wanted your trial occurrences to be one. What that means is that since your recurring interval is one month, one trial occurrence is one month. And what this will do is it will give them a zero dollar trial for one month, at which point the recurring amount of $19 will kick in. Now, that could be you know, exactly what you wanted with an initial payment of $1, and then you give them a month of free access, and then you start charging them $19 a month. And that's about how this would work out. Now, let's say, on the other hand, you wanted to give a reduced cost trial. Well, you could say that for the first three months, you wanted to give it to them for $10. So now that means that for the first three months, they're going to be charged $10 each time. And then for the remaining recurring period, they'll be charged $19 per month. So you have a lot of flexibility in here. Now, I said there were some times that you might want to use an initial payment over a recurring payment. And so let me tell you a little bit about Authorize.net. First, it's important to understand there are two ways to set up a payment in Authorize.net. One is called AIM, and that means the payment happens instantly. So as soon as you send credit card details to them and you get a response back from them, that means that all of the processing that needs to happen has already happened and that money has been captured by your payment processor. With recurring payments, they only process those one time every day. So if I put in, for example, let's say I wasn't going to do an initial payment, so I uncheck that, and all I'm doing is a recurring payment. And for now, let's just get rid of all this. So what this would give me right now, as it's set up, is $19 a month for six months. But because of the way Authorize.net handles automated recurring billing, what will happen is they'll put the $19 charge in, but it won't actually process until tomorrow morning. So if you sell a subscription and somebody gets access to your website, you won't actually know until tomorrow morning whether or not that credit card is going to be processed accurately. So what I often encourage people to do, if they want to charge right away, is $19 one-time charge, and then always do a one billing period trial amount of zero. Now what this will do is it will charge them immediately for the first month, 
and you'll know right away whether or not their credit card will work. And then for the remaining months, it will use the recurring billing mechanism to charge them $19 each month. So I think this is probably going to be the most common where you have either you know the full price and then going into a recurring period, or you might have some type of a, a reduced amount offering for your initial payment. But even charging $1 still captures their credit card and ensures that it's valid and that you can process against it before giving them access to your website. Well, once you're done, you just scroll down here and click Submit, and that appears as part of your list of available subscriptions. And you can see here the name of your subscription. You can see whether there are single or recurring payments involved, and you can see the amounts as well. One thing you'll notice is that I added a $1 single amount, but I forgot to check this box. So click Edit here, come back up, check that box, and click Submit. And so now you can see that the My Subscription that we just set up has a $1 initial amount and then $19 every one month. And if you ever want to delete one of these, you just delete it here. You can edit it like we showed you. And now the Buy Now link is the next great part. When you click in here and you copy this link, now that provides you with a checkout page. And it shows you your purchase de details. It shows the name shows the description, and it shows that it's an initial payment of $1 and recurring payments of $19 every month for six payments, including a $1 payment of $0 up front. So if you don't want them to know that there's one trial payment, because this isn't always useful, especially if you set it up as $1 today and then $19 every month for six payments, what you can do is come back to your authorized.net for WordPress plugin, Choose the general settings under authorize.net menu. Scroll down. As you can see, all of the purchase details, including the description, on the checkout page, you see all of the details of the description provided and the payment details. But you'll notice here that it says include one trial payment of $0 up front. This isn't terribly useful. So what you can do is come back to authorize.net for WordPress, scroll down, and edit the subscription that you just put together. And in the recurring payments area, check the box that says conceal trial at checkout and click submit. Now when you come back and refresh your page, you'll see that it doesn't indicate that there's a trial. So now all they see is that it's an initial payment of $1 and recurring payments of $19 every month for six payments. And all they have to do at this point is type in their name, address and their credit card details and complete their checkout. So that's all there is. You can create as many subscriptions as you like and you can have as much variety as you like. If you ever want to clean them up just come in and click the delete button next to them. Thanks for watching.